So what we have here are black swallowtail caterpillars. One right there that's eating. There's also one above it and that I'll talk about just a little bit. Black swallowtail butterflies. Uh, again, the uh, scientific name Papilio polyxenes. Uh, again, they call them a variety of different names, including American swallowtail, uh, I'm sorry, uh, black swallowtail, uh, parsnip swallowtail, things like that. They feed on anything the carrot family, which in this case right here is rue in my garden. And I got one there, there's another one over there. So they're feeding on rue. They also feed on black, uh, black uh, what do you call it, uh, queen ants, lace, and so forth as well. Uh, a, a very, very cool butterfly that's very easy to raise. Uh, one, of the, one of the easiest things uh, to notice on is you can plant almost anything, dill, fennel, whatever. Although native plants are much better here. This is not a native, but here they are growing on it. Anything in the carrot family and they'll grow on it. It is a black swallowtail, so it mimics things like the pipe vine, a, a venomous species. Um, that, uh, you know, it gives them some kind of protection by mimicry. Uh, the eggs usually last four to nine days, depends on the temperature. Then, uh, again, you're, you're looking at uh, this, the, uh, the young lasting less than two weeks. And usually then they'll, they'll, pupate, they'll pupate over and that lasts maybe a week or so too. Again, all of these very rough numbers that clearly depends on, um, on the temperature and so forth to get them to, to, um, to actually turn over. Again, a neat little butterfly, a mimic of other types of things and so forth, um, especially the pipe vine swallowtail. And again, something that, um, that we see all the time. Again, four to nine days for the egg about 10 to 30 days as a larva it depends on the temperature and things like that and you know about 18 days or so as a pupa very very cold they form a chrysalis to come on out uh, they don't last that long as a adult but they do visit lots of different things and again we have one there we have another one now this is probably not going to happen but i'll show you if i can if i if i bother it it may raise what's called the uh, the antineria the, the these little they raise this little fork thing over their head which they use to scare away i don't think i can do it he's not doing it right now See if I can get him to do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Can you do it for me? All right, there he is. Do you see it come out right in front? Like this little, like the little tongue that came out the front? Okay, so that comes out there and supposedly it sprays a variety of different kinds of, uh, of toxins, which some things such as wasps supposedly find um, unpalatable. So a kind of neat little thing, one way that all swallowtails have to, pr to protect themselves. So again, a black swallowtail caterpillar, this time on Rue. I for forgot to mention one more thing, and that is, again, as far as native plants, yes, people plant dill, carrot, whatever, uh, even, you know, Queen Anseus is not native, and here you can see it actually uh, pulling away, trying to eat some of the stuff in there. It, some of the native plants it would feed on includes things like homewort, that's uh, in the carrot family, and PACA as well, as well as such things as the zizias, the uh, golden alexanders, all of those are what these things used to feed on before people planted, of course, these other things. So again. A neat little, a neat little uh, caterpillar, black swallowtail, here on my, oh, actually several of them. I showed you the one up here, and there's yet even another one right over here. I am quite blessed, I think, with how many of these I have today. Black swallowtail butterflies.